Hi students, how are you all? This is Shravanti, you are watching Mass for you. So this is a, another topic, um, uh, problems on the type 2. So in the previous lecture, what you have seen? A type 2, how to do the type 2 procedure and a small example. So in this video, we will solve some more examples of type 2. Okay, now? The first problem is that xp minus yq is equal to xy. This is our given PDE. The first procedure for any Lagrange's method is that you have to compare with the quasi-linear PDE and you have to write what is what, what is P, what is Q, what is R. So this is PD plus QQ is equals to R where P is equals to X, 2 is equals to minus Y, R equals to X, Y. And the next step is that write the Lagrange's auxiliary equation. Now dx by P that is X, dy by Q that is minus Y, dz by R that is X, Y. The next procedure is you have to take any two fractions and you have to integrate by doing variable separation method. So if you take these two fractions, yes, this uh, this is a derivative with respect to and this is a derivative with respect to y. So it is so simple by the type 1 procedure. So taking first two fractions, dx by x is equal to dy by minus y. Now integration is applied on both sides. Now integration, integration. Now 1 by x is equal to log x minus 1 by y log y plus some integral constant log of c1. The RHS and minus log y has taken to LHS side plus then the logarithmic formula log a plus log b is applied here. That is log a plus log b is equal to log a by b log log get cancelled. The solution will be the first integral solution is xy is equal to c1. So by taking these two fractions, simply by type 1 procedure, we have to got one of the independent solutions, even. So now the important term is, what have, What you will do the next step? You will take these two or these two. Just uh, just listen here. If you take these two, right? So uh, just overall uh, rough work I am doing here. If you take these two, dz by x1. Okay, the students, what you will do? Yeah, simply directly what you will do? You will cancel the terms y, y. Or if you take these two, directly you cancel the terms x, y. But it is very, very wrong. If you cancel the terms y, y, the remaining variable is x. But the derivatives are not with respect to x, right? Got it my point? If you are taking these two fractions, or the another any two fractions, by seeing the denominator, what you will do? You will cancel the variable y. But the remaining variable is x. But the derivatives are not with respect to x. Then what you can't do? Hmm? You can't go the further procedure, right? So in that situation, what you have to do? You have to think over a little bit and you have to apply the procedure. Type 2, what is that? Here, if you are not cancelling the variable by y, the variable, this is the y with respect to derivative y. Yes, clear. And here z. But the variables are in the form x, y. So just to go to the first independent solution. What is c1? Yes, very good. c1 equal to x, y. Now substitute here x, y equal to c1. And c1 is treated to be the arbitrary constant. And you can derivate it is very simply. So this is the procedure of type 2. That whenever you are doing the next integration. There the first independent solution is applied and you are using the c1 in integrating the next term using the first independent solution to get the another this is known as type 2 procedure that is simply named as type 2 okay now? so let's do uh, second one by taking another two fractions these two here it is x1 it is simple instead of taking minus term it is too simple to take the positive term so again we are taking first fraction is equal to dz by xy. So please don't cancel the term xy. Just put it in the mind that xy is one of our solutions. So substitute xy equal to c1. xy equal to c1. No substitute dx by x is equal to dz by c1. So now what happens? This is a derivative that is expected. So it is a constant. You can take it outside. You can integrate dz. So now integration is applied on both LHS and RHS. Integration of 1 by x nothing but log x 
Now C1 is treated. 1 by C1 is treated as constant. Take out of the integral. Integration of dz that is z. Now z by C1 plus let us take some integral constant with respect to log. Take this log to LHS side. Now log x minus log C2 is equal to z by C1. Again the logarithmic formula log a minus log b that is equal to log of a by b is equal to z by what is c1 again substitute c1 value that is xy if log goes to rhs side it becomes the exponential now x by c2 equals to e power z by xy now you have to find out the c2 value not x or not this you have to find out c2 means cross multiply or do cross multiply the exponential goes to numerator it becomes minus c2 equal to x e power minus z by x well, have you understood this step students once again i am repeating see here x by c2 equal to exponential if you do cross multiplication this exponential comes uh, denominator and c2 goes here the denominator value if it goes to the numerator it becomes minus this is the value of c2 this is the value of c1 then the general solution will be in the form of c1 equal to pi of c1 or pi of c1 comma c2 equal to 0 just i want to write here the general solution please look over here that is the general solution is c2 equals to pi of c1 right what is c2 here x e power minus z of pi xy is equal to pi of xy is our required general solution of the given pd this is the first problem let us see the second problem let us see the second problem now what is the second question py plus qx is equal to xy into z square x square minus y square so this is our given pd now after comparing p equal to y q equal to x and r equal to this then the next step is converting into lagrangians so i am directly writing the lagrangian's equation dx by y is equals to dy by x is equals to dz by r plus xy z square x square minus y square so next step is taking these two fractions so dx by y is equal to dy by x. What you have to do? You have to cross multiply. Now dx by y is equal to dy by x. Now cross multiplication. x dx is equal to y dy. Apply the integration on both sides. Integration of x. x square by 2. This is y square by 2. So 2 goes that side. Now take y, y square to this. Now 2c1 equal to c1. Simply. So this is by using the type 1 procedure. Now, if you take these two fractions or if you take these two fractions, what happen? Let's see. If you take these two, dy by x is equal to dz by xyz square, x square minus y square. So now after seeing what you will do, uh, you will be cancelling xx and you will do this thing. But here, if you take cancel x, but these terms are remaining, you can cancel xx. But here what, what is remaining y z square x square minus y square. So this is difficult to integrate right. So for that reason you have to substitute x square minus y square equal to this c1 independent solution. You can cancel x here but you have to substitute x square y square equal to one of our independent solution dy. To take y also cross multiplication y that is dz by z square into c1 have you understood x square minus y square equal to you are substituting this solution and you are getting can you are cancelling x and you are taking y to this so now i want to take this uh, constant c1 also here so c1 y dy equals to integration of 1 by y square no? so we can't apply log so take the z square to numerator minus 2 into this so now apply the integration on both sides here c1 what is the integration of y? That is y square by 2. Now integration of z power minus 2 is z power minus 2 plus 1 by z power minus 2 plus 1. That is z power minus 1 by minus 1 plus log integration constant 2. 
So now C1 y square by 2 is equal to minus 1 by z plus C2. And now what is the value of C1? Substitute the value of C1 here. Now what happens here? C1 integration of z minus this uh, z power minus 1 comes to the denominator plus C2. Just cross multiply the 2 here. 2 plus C2. So now take this minus RHS time to LHS. LHS right C1 y square plus 2 by z is equals to 2 C2. Now consider 2 C2 equal to C2 as arbitrary. So you have to find out the C2 solution. And what is C1 here? x square minus 1 square by first uh, linear independent solution y square. Now 2 by z is equal to 2 C2 equal to C2. So this is our another solution. So now we have, we have um, the general solution. How you have to write? Function is of the another way. That is C2 is equal to pi of C1. What is the variable C2? X square minus Y square into Y square plus 2 by Z is equal to pi of C1. C1 equal to X square minus Y square. This is our required general solution of the given PDE. This is the second problem. Let's see the another problem. Let us see the another problem. Uh, you think this is so similar but it becomes a small difficult. And the chuni ki same in that problem lana and the madam and pisuni. Somewhat it gives a little bit different. That is the major point here. So now comparison PPQQ equals not directly. I am writing the Lagrange's equation dx by xz d by by yz dz by xy. If you take these two equations, xz is equal to dy by yz. What is getting cancelled? Zz is can get cancelled. If you integrate on both sides up, right? Then 1 by x, 1 by y equal log no. Log x is equal to log y plus log of c1. If uh, this comes, this side minus, now log x minus log y equal to log x by y. That is log of x by y is equal to log of simple log log get cancelled. Now x by y is equal to c1 is one of our independent solution. If you take these two or these two equations, what happens? I want to take these two equations. Let's see what happens. dy by yz is equal to dz by xy. So what you guys do, you get, uh, you do the y by the variable get cancelled. So now you have to, you should not do like that. So we can stuck in t. So as y by cancel like the x z don't z del but x name yes that. Okay now. So in that sense, what you have to think just to go to the first independent solution is that in first independent solution is applying here or not. So x by you think that x by ikara. But x by y only. Yes, what you have to think. Just you have to do find out the variable x value that is y c1. Now substitute the value of x here. What happened? Surely, madam, end the x value the y could the yoch kada. And you can make a variable use out to know variable ni find out. You can make x eliminate gaval kada. And you can take derivatives with respect to y and then. So I have to eliminate the x variable. So for that reason, I am finding out the value of x. Simply. Now y z is equal to dz by what is the value of x here pi y into y y square now y square c1 so take this y variable to this side and take z variable to the derivative to z now y square c1 y into dy is equal to z dz so now y y is getting cancelled now apply the integration on both sides now c1 by dy equal integration of z dz now integration y square by 2 is equals to z square by 2 plus c2 right so what happens here yes we have integrated now take this z square by 2 to our uh, uh, lhs side so c1 y square by 2 minus z square by 2 is equal to c2 now c1 y square minus z square is equal to 2c2 2c2 is considered as 2 C2 as it is orbitary constant. Now substitute the value of C1 also. It becomes simple. What is the C1? X by Y. The value is X by Y. Now here Y by also is getting cancelled. Gets cancelled. Now XY 
minus z square is equal to c2. This is one of our independent solution. So therefore, the Daniel solution is c2 equal to pi of c1. That is xy minus z square is equal to pi of x by y. Or else I have told you that you can also write the general solution in the form of pi of c1 comma c2 equals to 0. So these are the three problems on type 2. So I want to clear one thing here. So we can use the Lagrange's method lo type 1 type 2. Type 1 type 2 is just me clarity. Kosum. And the problem is this is considered to be method of grouping only. So in the next lecture, I will clear you what is the type 1, type 2 belongs, what is the method of grouping, what is the method of multipliers. I will explain you clearly. Okay, no? thank you for watching.